friends. Come to the YouTube channel of Sri Swaminarayan Physiotherapy College, Ahmedabad. I am Dr. Dhara Vakila. I am MPT in Rehabilitation. Currently working as a senior lecturer at Sri Swaminarayan Physiotherapy College, Ahmedabad. Today we will learn about the basics of orthosis. What is orthosis? So that is the mechanical device that is fitted to the body to maintain in its anatomical or functional position. The modern orthotic devices plays a vital role in the field of orthopedic and neurological rehabilitation. They are given to improve function, restrict or enforce motion or increase support to the part of body like the spine or lower limb. What are the basic principles of the orthosis? So that uses the forces to limit or assist the movement. For example, like in the first figure you can see the rigid material spanning the joint that prevents the motion. Like posterior tube splint or posterior knee guard as you can see into the image. A spring in a joint that is stressed by one and motion and then recalls to assist the opposite desired motion like lip spring orthosis. Now sensation. So uh, most of the device that often covers the skin areas and uh, reduce the sensory feedback. So as far as possible the proprioception should be preserved whenever possible. Now correction of mobile deformities like scoliosis so the flexible deformity may be corrected by the proper orthosis like one in given in the general recovatum or like in mobile scoliosis in the image you can see the milwaukee brace so that is useful for correction of scoliosis so the corrective force is the corrective force must be balanced by the proximal and the distal counter forces Now if there is a fixed deformity, so that should be accommodated by the orthosis, so that will prevent the progression of, of the deformity. Now adjustability, so the orthotic adjustability is indicated for the children to accommodate their growth and the patient with progressive or resolving disorders. Like Milwaukee brace is available with the adjustable strap, so you can adjust according as the patient grow in the height. Now maintenance and cleaning so it should be simple so if it is simple to clean so the wearer are going to wear it for the more period of time. Now application so it should be simple for easy doning and doffing means easy to put on and easy to remove. If it is very complicated so it is less likely to be accepted for the permanent use. For the limitation of motion to reduce the pain as knee brace is given in some ligament injury as well as meniscal injury or in the patient with osteoarthritis. Now gravity. So gravity plays an important role in the upper limb orthosis especially in those joints where the heaviest movement masses are present. For example, draw line uh, shoulder curve should be used in hemiplegic to prevent the subluxation of the shoulder which is the largest joint prone to uh, have the deteriorated effect of gravity. Comfort. So the orthosis must be useful and serves the real purpose. If one hand is functional and normal, an upper extremity orthosis for the affected side may be not used as most activities of daily living can be performed with a good hand. Cosmesis, so that is very important in many people's life. If it is uh, like orthosis is visible to the other people, so like many people don't prefer to wear it in the public area. Duration, so it is used only as indicated and as far as long as possible because if you are using it for the longer duration, it has some. 
uh, effect like muscle wasting, muscle weakening, and ultimately it is going to load the joint. So only uh, you are need to wear it only as long as necessary. Now appropriateness. So it should allow the joint movement wherever uh, possible. Now principle of Jordan. So it is also called as a three point system of Jordan. To remain stable, the body has to have one point of pressure opposed by two equal point of counter pressure in such a way that F1 is equal to F2 plus F3. So this system applies the corrective or assistive force which are implemented at the surface of the orthosis through the skin and are transmitted to the underlying soft tissue and the bones. So here you can see the three point four system. So that will there will be the reduction in the unwanted angular rotation as well as stabilization about the joint, bone or the skeletal segment. In the corrective devices of orthosis. So the corrective force is directed towards the angular or deformed area to be corrected and other two counter forces are applied distal and proximal to the corrective force. Greater the distance between the force and the counter force, less the counter force required. Now biomechanics of orthosis. So there are four different ways in which an orthosis may modify the system of external force and the movements acting across the joint. By control of the rotational movement across the joint, control of the translation force around the joint, as well as control of the line of the action of the ground reaction force. This involves modifying the point of application and the line of action of the ground reaction force during static or dynamic weight bearing. External forces that affects the orthosis interference that is the pressure, shear and interface with the microenvironment. There are chances uh, the patient may have the bad source because of the continuous friction between bone and orthosis. So that is going to impinge your muscles, skin, blood vessels. So ultimately it is going to damage your skin if the patient's uh, sensations are affected as well as the continuous pressure is going to be there. So you have to be careful in that cases. Now classification. So it can be uh, divided according to functional classification. So it can be supportive, functional or corrective. Supportive in that it stabilizes the joint and supports the body in its anatomical position like in calipers or gaiters that you can see on the first image. Another is the functional classification. So it stabilizes the joint and also makes up for the lost function like in foot drop splint in common peroneal nerve palsy or dynamic cock up splint in wrist drop that you can see on the second image. Another is the corrective orthosis so that is to correct the deformities like club foot in the congenital talipus equino virus that you can see in the third image. Protective so that is to protect the part of the body during its healing like in the posterior knee guard or tube splint in case of the some knee injuries. Also to prevent the substitution of the function like in full length caliper the substitution of the hip flexors by the adductors or abductors of the hip and other similar trick movements are prevented. Also to strengthen the certain group of muscle like in tenodic. Another is for the pain relief. So lumbosacral corset supports the parts of the low back, preventing the painful movement. Prevent weight bearing. So a weight relieving orthosis prescribed for the condition like fracture calcaneum will take a weight away from the injured side to the proximal side, like the patellar tendon bearing area. Regional classification. So they are classified according to the anatomical area fitted with the orthosis like cervical orthosis, thoracolumbosacral orthosis, 
kidney and cold foot arthrosis that you can see under the second image and wrist arthrosis like that. Now contraindications to arthrosis. So whenever there is a severe deformity which cannot be accommodated in the arthrosis, so in that case you have to, it is contraindicated. Another is the skin infection. So at that time the arthrosis is contraindicated. If it limits the movement at another normal joint as well. So uh, the arthrosis should cover only the affected joint, not the normal joint. Otherwise it is going to affect the muscle strength as well as the range of motion of the normal joint as well. So that is not, that will be harmful to the patient. When the muscle power is in adequate to perform inadequate to perform its function because of the weight of the orthosis like muscle is too weak to hold the orthosis so in that cases it is contraindicated lack of motivation or other psychological problems if the patient is not psychologically compatible so in that case it is contraindicated and in uh, like very young or very old patient who are unable to handle the orthosis so in that cases uh, the orthosis Now disadvantage of orthosis, so like lack of cost masses, so un, uh, like unsightly orthosis is often the reason for the patient uh, to discontinue it use. Like if the many people are very conscious about their look, so they are not be likely to wear the orthosis in general public area, so there are chances that they will discontinue easily. Muscles supporting the spine will become the weak. So if you are wearing the like lumbar corset or cervical collar for the longer duration of the time, so it is going to weaken your muscle and ultimately going to load your spine. And again, it will lead to the pain and other further deterioration of the disease. Whenever the segments are immobilized, we can find increased movement at the end of this segment. Like when one joint is stable, immobilized, so proximal or distal joint is going to have the increased movement. Another reason is the person may become the psychologically dependent on it. They will feel like if I am not going to wear it, like I will have the pain or my disease is going to be worsened. So they may uh, psychologically dependent on it. Also it will lead to reduction in the bone density because it is going to unload the segment of your body. So ultimately the bone metabolism it is going to affect and there will be reduction in the bone density if they are using it for the longer duration. The skin ulceration or the callus at the patient orthosis interference. So that is also the another disadvantage because of the continuous friction between the skin and uh, orthosis surface. So they may lead to damage. Disadvantage of orthosis. Thank you viewers. I would like to request you all to li please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel and stay updated. Thank you.